I'm here to give y'all five reasons why the Victory Lap by Nipsey Hussle is not the album of the year. They ain't never gonna stop me, I'm on a mission. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by number five. And a lot of people are gonna be mad at me for having this type of opinion. But it is what it is. It just wasn't the album of the year. That's partly because of the lack of versatility. I feel like with your own project that you have to produce, you have to show that you're versatile and you have, you have to switch some things up and that just wasn't done. And uh, it just wasn't enough. Like he put out 16 tracks and it was just no versatility and flow. A lot of people want rappers to sing. I'm not that way. If you're a rapper, then you rap, that's fine. But at the same time, you have to show that you're versatile within that mix. And Nipsey just didn't do that for me. So now I'm gonna come at you with number four. And number four is basically the features. It was entirely too many features on this album. Out of a 16 track album, you have 12 of them, maybe 11. I think it was more like 11. 11 tracks were features. That is horrible for an album because you really don't get to hear the person that you're actually trying to uh, point out or the person who actually put out the tape. That's pointless. It's, ex it's, it's unacceptable. It should be unacceptable. If you have 16 tracks, then maybe about seven of them should have features, but the majority of your album, close to half of it, should be just you. That brings me to number three. And number three is basically, the features didn't live up to the heart. He had YG on the album, Kendrick Lamar, um, Puff Daddy was on the album. A lot of those features did not live up to their expectation of what I expect from those type of artists. It just wasn't it. Nipsey delivered, but I feel like it wasn't what the culture needed per se. So that's why I put that as number three. Yeah, a lot of y'all gonna be mad, but it is what it is. And now this is number two. Reason number two, man, Nipsey's flow stayed the same, the exact same throughout the whole album. And it's like a Wale album, kind of. You get boring. It gets boring. When you show that you have no other style to use, I guess you can put that in the versatility col column, but you just stay the same, regardless of what beat you were on, who was singing with. It just, it really does nothing for your album if you're gonna put all the same flow out to every single song, that's ridiculous. So that brings me to number one. Number one, the number one reason why this is not the album of the year, besides it being not comparing to other people, the number one reason is because it was basic. The bars that Nipsey had was so basic if you're going to have the album of the year, at least rap, you have to have some complexity to your album. You have to have something to make you say, hmm, that's a good bar. Nipsey did not do that. Everything was basic. Everything was just spitting. Uh, I walked to the street, um, cruising down the street in my 6 4, really. That's all it was. That's all he was giving us. It was no complexity. It was no metaphors. It was no. Um, references, it was just a whole bunch of basic bars, basic bars. Anyways, these are my five reasons why Nipsey Hussle's Victory Lap is not the album of the year. And don't get me wrong, it was a good album. I enjoyed the album. I really liked the album. I um, downloaded about four songs from the album. But to say that it was album of the year is really really a stretch and yes I got every single bar because the lyrics were so basic so you can't say bars went over my head um, this is see the surfer I'm playing the TV you can like dislike comment subscribe you can do all that I don't care which one you do just 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 do one of them click another video
This is the server. 